Hey guys, it's Vignesh and welcome back to this channel. Now today I'm going to show you some hidden tips and tricks of Gboard which makes your typing experience better and faster. So now let's get started. Deleting each letter is a bit painful, especially if you want to delete a large number of text. But guys, there is an easy and quick way to delete text using gestures. And for that, just tap on this delete button and swipe left. Now you don't need to hold the delete button for a long time. You can just swipe like this to quickly and easily delete something. Now in case if you have deleted something that you don't wish to, you can undo the deleted text by just tapping here in the recommendation. Now for enabling this feature, just go to Gboard settings by clicking here on the settings icon. Then under client typing, enable this gesture delete option. So guys, try this way of deleting while you have to delete more than two or three words because it's more effective. Gboard also has a feature called dictionary and this dictionary is basically used to store a large text like your address or some important text that you often use and you can easily access these sentences or text by just typing a shortcut. Like for example, I can type ADD and Gboard will suggest me my address. I can just tap on this address and here is my address. Okay, now to create this shortcut, you just need to go to Gboard settings, then a dictionary. Here under all languages, click on the plus icon to create a new shortcut. Now type the text that you want, like your address or whatever that you want. Here you can type the shortcut that will get this text. Now before moving to the next point, if you are liking this video, then please like this video and guys do subscribe because over 99% of my viewers are still not subscribed to this channel. So guys do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new videos. Anyway, move to the next point. Navigating your cursor in your phone might be a bit painful than navigating in your laptop or PC. And you might sometimes tap on the wrong place, but don't worry guys, there is an easy way to navigate your cursor and again it's by using gestures. You can just swipe left or right on the spacebar to move your cursor. Okay, for enabling this feature, just go to Gboard setting, then under glide typing, enable this gesture cursor control. Now you can just swipe left or right on the spacebar to move your cursor. You might know the clipboard feature present in Windows which basically helps you to copy multiple items at once and then just use Windows plus V shortcut to paste many items at once. Now your phone can also do this feature and for that just press on this Gboard icon and then turn on clipboard. Now you can copy multiple items and paste it at once. So for accessing your clipboard just press on this arrow icon and then select the clipboard icon. Now if your clipboard icon is not present then just press on the three dot and you can see the clipboard icon here. You can just drag this clipboard to the top so that you can easily access it. Here the main difference between the clipboard in Windows and the clipboard used in Gboard is that Windows store the copied item until your system is shut down whereas Gboard will automatically delete copied items after an hour. So if you want to keep any copied text for a longer time, long press on them and choose pin to pin that item and you can access this text whenever you want. So this is kind of a useful feature if you want to copy multiple items and then paste them at once. The next feature that I'm going to show is something that most people know but still a lot of people don't use this feature and it's called glide typing. For starters, glide typing is a feature that lets you to type using swipes and yes, it does make your typing experience better and make your typing faster. Anyway, at starting you might not be able to use it properly but once you get in touch with this feature, this is going to change your typing experience and make your typing much much faster. So for enabling this feature, just go to Gboard settings and inside glide typing, enable this glide typing option. Now yes, it does make your typing experience better but some people still might love that old normal typing. And I use both way of typing because that's what I'm more comfortable with. So that was it for the video. Now if this video was helpful then do share this video to your friends and family members so that they can also learn something new from this video. Anyway, if you're still not subscribed to this channel then subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new videos. So that's it. It's Vignay signing off and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.